Let's talk about the Qin Dynasty. The Qin Dynasty did not rule for very long. They only ruled for a little under 20 years. They ruled from 220, oops, 221 BCE to 206 BCE. But this is the first official empire in China. So now we're no longer calling them kings, we're calling them emperors. Now, the leader here, his name, holy moly, we're going to spell it out first before I say it. So the most important leader, his name is spelled Q-I-N space S-H-I-H-U-A-N-G-D-I. All right, let's see. It's the Qin Shuangdi. The Qin Shuangdi. Um, and this translates to the first... Qin Emperor. Oops, got an extra space down here. The first Qin Emperor is what that that's Chinese for the first Qin Emperor. The Qin Shuangdi. He uh, took on this fancy name, what his he was referred to. You don't see really what his real name was throughout history very much. It's probably there somewhere, but most of the time when you're talking about the Qin Dynasty, you're going to see the Qin Shuangdi be referred to more than you would see by like his actual name. He believed that everyone who opposed him should be punished or killed. Homeboy was not a nice man. He was very fierce. He took power and he kept power, which is part of the reason why the empire didn't last very long. Um, he was very ruthless, and so it didn't last as long as what he probably would have liked. Some good things about the Qin Dynasty, though, he united China under one ruler, and he did this by creating one currency. And currency is a type of money. Oh, wow, my, my CY there got weird. Currency is a type of money that allowed, that was allowed to be used and he also did this by building roads throughout the empire. So he unified China by creating one type of currency and by building roads. Before this, there were different types of currency or different types of money that were being used in different territories. So his way of fixing this was saying you can only use this type of money. And that made it so it was all uniform. Everyone had the same thing. It kind of united them under one um banner, I guess, of money. He also did built these roads that connected different parts of the empire together, which was huge. Now, he ruled, sorry, he ruled from Xian, uh, Xianyang, is what the name of his city was. Xianyang was the capital city. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it's the same Xiang um, she, or Xi'an that we saw earlier when we talked about the Zhao dynasty. I would assume it's a different one. This is not the one that I was talking about where it repeats itself later on. It's a different one. So let's talk about some of the achievements here. The Qin, uh, Qin Shuangdi had very big aspirations. He was shooting for the stars a little bit. So some of the achievements they had here was that he created a standardized writing system. So he kind of normalized what the writing would look like. So he wouldn't have to worry about other um, areas having different writing. It's another way to unite the people under one kind of rule and one banner. He also built a canal that connected central... and southern China. And he ordered the building of the Great Wall. He was a very eccentric man. He had a lot of, like I said, very high hopes, very big things that he was shooting for. And so this Great Wall was in was built to kind of keep people out. We talked about that already later, or we talked about that last week and even the week before that. Um, 
another very interesting thing about um, the Qin Shi Huang Di is that he was obsessed with his own mortality. He was obsessed with wanting to live forever. So he would send people out, all these scholars and like travelers and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, people who uh, search or people who would have to search for um, this, like the elixir of youth, how he could live forever, the secret of immortality. Well, it didn't work out quite so well for him. He eventually died and the empire fell after his death. After his death in 210 BCE. After he died, the empire just wasn't, or the dynasty just wasn't able to keep up anymore. Uh, he eventually, the his family was overthrown. This new dynasty comes in. So we see that he wasn't just, he just wasn't able to keep the power that he had hoped for. Now, his tomb is guarded by over 6,000 terracotta soldiers and horses. Oopsies. Why aren't you writing? Oh, my thing's froze. Okay, well, it should say soldiers and... Oh, maybe it's going to let me know. Oh, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't working. Soldiers and horses. So if you've ever heard anything... Oh, I think I turned it off. <laughs> That's why. My thing hurt. All right. Uh, so, if you've ever heard of the terracotta soldiers before, they, they guard the Qin Shi Huang Di's uh, tomb. Now, I have some videos here that we would normally watch if we were in class together. I'm going to link them on Google Classroom, so you can still watch them if you want to. Um, we're not going to watch them. Here they are. It's these two. Um, we're not going to watch them on here together. It just doesn't work out. But if you want to watch them, they'll be on Google Classroom um, on today's checklist. They'll have those optional videos for you. Some cool pictures for you though. Oh my goodness, what is up with this? It doesn't want to work for me at all. Some cool pictures, if it lets me scroll here, that I wanted to show you. Here we go. Are of these terracotta soldiers. They are so incredibly cool. And I encourage you to watch those videos. They talk more about the terracotta soldiers. There's one that's kind of a cartoony one that talks about the history of them. And then the other one talks, um, it's a real life one about a researcher who studies the terracotta soldiers every day. Really cool videos. I highly encourage you watch them. I know this video is kind of long today, um, but watch those if you want to. They're really cool. But that's definitely a sight to see. I would love to be able to go see that someday. So we're going to stop there. Uh, my computer, my iPad's acting up. I think I'm going to even stop recording today because it's just not doing what I want to do at all. Um, so on that note, guys, I'm going to let you go. If you have questions, oh, here, the, those pictures too. Well, look, there's more pictures. There's the, of the Qin Dynasty. There's currency. There's the canal. I'm just having all kinds of issues today, aren't I? <laughs> Goodness gracious. So we are going to stop there. If you have questions, drop a comment, hop onto Zoom. Uh, it's Tuesday. We don't have office hours today, but you can definitely ask tomorrow if you have questions. We will finish up politics tomorrow. I'm going to turn this off before I mess something else up. Good luck, guys.